Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In fact, talking af uh, after Professor Caldwell is a difficult issue, but we'll try. Um, we'll have a general overview about the minimally invasive techniques in the management of lumbar disc uh, disease. Uh, it is not working. Uh, we still have um, MRIs in which, which patients are still complaining and decision making is still lacking. And pictures like this, which does not necessitate uh, surgery and uh, at the same time conservative treatment failure, well, it's a result needs uh, uh, to have some tools. This is a direct case of surgery. When we think about minimally invasive uh, uh, procedures, it is a belief, uh, because the less usually is more. And we have many cases, about 80% of the population complaining of back pain, with many causes, starting from muscle back spasm and ending into uh, spondylolysis and uh, and the frank instability. And the uh, uh, differential diagnosis of back pain into discogenic, facetogenic, and foraminal pain will help much in decision making later on in the minimal invasive uh, corridor. And uh, thinking minimally invasive will make much, many uh, MRIs that which was formerly seen as negative uh, to have uh, positive data. The scope of minimally invasive uh, treatment uh, uh, is, uh, include uh, injections, nucleoblasty, endoscopic approaches, percutaneous techniques, ending in microsurgical techniques with frank surgery coming later on. Minimally invasive techniques require minimal dissection and may be done under local anesthesia with mild sedation, and it is usually a day case with quick recovery and good results with minimal side effects. We have many methods of minimally invasive uh, spinal, uh, techniques of the lower spine uh, in discogenic diseases. Um, we'll uh, see some of them now. Discography was uh, most of the people who uh, stopped to do discography. It was very diagnostic and uh, in the past, but it is said to increase uh, uh, the damage of the disc space. Epidural injections uh, give good outcome with acute and chronic pain. Uh, with ter and the steroids inhibit inflammatory process in the epidural space arising from the release of inflammatory mediators. This issue is controversy, controversial and it is now uh, uh, much less used. Uh, but we in, uh, introduced a cocktail which is introduced into the epidural space. This cocktail include osmo osmotics and uh, analgesics and uh, corticosteroids that can uh, have some good results in cases of high intensity intense zone lesions, like this case. Uh, sacroiliac joint injection also is gaining uh, more popularity nowadays with the regenerative medicine techniques uh, with injection of the uh, PRP or PRF inside the, the sacroiliac joints with very good results. Uh, percutaneous disc decompression with uh, uh, nucleoblasty is done under mild sedation and local anesthesia 
and it, uh, it, it is done in only in 20 to 30 minutes with ablation of the nucleus which coblation went through the needle. And it is indicated only in radicular uh, uh, pain and uh, with axial symptoms and when the MRI showed contained posterior lateral focal protrusion after failure, of course, of conservative treatment. If the disc height is less than 50% or severe degeneration of the disc is there or severe spinal stenosis, it is contraindicated. The, here are some cases of necroblasty, in my experience, with good results over one year. Uh, balloon kyphoplasty procedure is one of also of the many, many invasive techniques that is used in uh, osteoporotic vertebral fractures. And it is either done unipolar or bipolar, unibedicular or bipedicular. The cavity spine wand is a, a probe with active electrodes uh, and uh, bouquet of active electrodes, uh, S-shaped tip, uh, w w which is used in removal of vertebral tumors, and uh, the device ablates in forward motion. That you, uh, in such a way, the tumor in the vertebral body like this, we insert the cannula, and the cavity uh, 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 tumor procedure uh, we started to make the cavity, the bulk of the tissue to create the void and augment with bone cement. And he, here is the end result. Uh, restoration of the disc of the vertebral height uh, is uh, good in such cases. Of course, in late uh, two e or three years, the complications of kyphoblasty started to be reported in the literature with uh, adjacent uh, uh, level fractures and uh, retrobulgian or anterobulgian of the uh, bone cement itself, but it is still, and, uh, and the kyphoblasty is uh, um, coming back and vertebroblasty is coming forward now. The next minimally invasive technique is interspinous process dynamic stabilization with the distraction devices, which is used mainly in mild to moderate stenosis and in facetogenic pain. Uh, the spacer placed between the adjacent spinous processes act as a physiological block to extension on standing and it is mimicking uh, flexion and so it unloads the facet and unloads the posterior disc space. We have uh, many uh, spacers available uh, some are placed uh, uh, through open posterior approach, like the X-stop, the Diam, the Puflex, and the Wallace, and many other in the market. And one percutaneous, uh, it's called any spine, which is, uh, could be placed percutaneous uh, spacer without, with local anesthesia and with, uh, in, in 10 minutes procedure. And I saw pa elderly patients uh, who could not walk, and he can walk uh, just five to 15, uh, to 15 minutes post procedure. And here is the post operative of the inner space. Uh, restoration of the posterior disc space and the unloading of the facet is the result. The DM was very popular, especially in uh, football players, and uh, it is in the form of the deformable damper made of silicone with bully Easter's jacket and with oversized wings. We all know the Coflex with the FD approval, FDA approval, and uh, it is better used with posterior micro decompression and uh, Coflex. And here are some examples. Then we move to the minimally invasive spinal surgery procedures. 
using series of dilators, creating a small tunnel through which the muscles, uh, through the muscles of the back. We have the mini T lift, the mini P lift, and lastly, we have the percutaneous of spinal fixation with many systems in the, all over the world. With the, starting with the six tenth of Medtronic, and now ending in many uh, procedures. Lastly, the minimal invasive spine surgery is a one-inch incision surgery, and tissues are left intact and split along the natural divisions. That is an outpatient surgery for some, and hospital stay is only one day. Thank you very much. <laughs>